Hello, Bravs. We're back with Glenda by Janice May Udry. This is Chapter 10, Glenda's Club. I am forming a club, announced Glenda. May I be in it? asked Karen. Yes, said Glenda. You are invited to join, Karen. You are on my list. Am I on your list? asked Betsy. Yes, Betsy. You are on my list, too. What kind of club? asked Marcia. I haven't exactly decided yet, said Glenda. First, I'm deciding who is going to be in it, and then we'll have a meeting to decide what kind of club it's going to be. Will it be for boys and girls or just for girls, asked Marcia. It's a girls' club, said Glenda. It's strictly for the best girls in Miss Willow's class. No one can be in it unless I invite them. What do you mean by best girls, asked Marcia. Glenda ignored this question. By the next day, every girl in Miss Willow's class had been invited to join Glenda's club except Marcia and Dorothy. Some of them said they would join, and some said they would have to ask their mothers first. My mother will want to know what kind of club it is, said Alice. A club has to have a purpose, said one of the other girls. No, it doesn't, said Glenda. But anyway, sometimes the purpose of the club is a secret. The purpose of the club is never a secret to the members, is it, asked Karen. Stop worrying about the purpose, said Glenda. The club will be fun. We'll do things. Let me see the list, said Betsy. Which girls are in the club? Almost all the girls in Miss Willow's class are going to be in it, said Glenda. Well, who isn't in it then? Actually, only two girls don't qualify, said Glenda. Who are they, persisted Betsy. Everybody can be in the club except Marcia and Dorothy, said Glenda. Why can't they be in it, asked Alice. Dorothy is too new, said Glenda, and Marcia is too bossy. Marcia arrived at the edge of the group in time to hear the last remarks. She laughed. I know what kind of club this is, she said, even if Glenda doesn't. What kind, asked Karen. It's a club against somebody, said Marcia. I even know the name of the club. What is the name of it, asked Betsy. It's the AM AMAD Club, said Marcia, the Against Marcia and Dorothy Club. She walked away, and the girls looked after her uneasily. Don't pay any attention to her, said Glenda. She's just jealous. Maybe, said Alice. All the same, I don't think I want to join it. Thank you anyway for inviting me, Glenda. I don't really have time to join a club right now, said Betsy. I have to practice piano every afternoon now, or my parents won't get me a parakeet. In the end, all the girls turned down membership in Glenda's club. Oh, well, it would have been a boring club with those girls in it anyway, thought Glenda on her way home. But at Marcia, she is the most jealous creature I've ever met. I wonder if they let her act like that at home. What a bizarre book this is.